Well, as you guys know, there's a lot of anger and division across our society in the United Kingdom these days, uh, but also online and between some people. Let's talk about Majid Nawaz. A lot of you are familiar with him. Majid Nawaz is, uh, was a former radical Islamist uh, who then uh, said that he's left that side a few years ago. He then became a more Western. He became a liberal. He actually joined and became a liberal Democrat, the Lib Dem. Uh, he was against Brexit, he was pro-EU, and then he got a job at the, the LBC, which is basically mainstream media, controlled media. And uh, then for a short period of time, during 2020 days, he became anti-establishment against the lockdown and everything else, spoke out. Uh, but during that time, when he was basically, he left the Islamism, he became friends with uh, Tommy Robinson, but they were working together against radicalism. Then the whole thing changed, he's now gone back to the Islamic side, um, and he's, he's got this mission against the, the Jewish nation and, and Israel and everything else. But, and now, he's attacking Lawrence Fox, Tommy Robinson, Calvin Robinson, and all the British uh, patriots and nationalists. Let's go through what happened over the last uh, few days. Imagine I was posted this, saying, um, breaking, after radicalized to new fascism, Paid influencers such as SX actor Lawrence Fox spread fake news about the South Port attacker being a Syrian um, a refugee, blah, blah, blah. And saying that obviously Keir Starmer said he's not. He's from somewhere else. Then, Calvin Robinson said, he replied to Majid saying, uh, Lawrence Fox, well, Majid said, Lawrence Fox is a paid tool for globalists. Majid has been great on some issues, but this exposes his allegiances. Politicians choose party over country. Mohammedans uh, choose uh, Islam over Britain. Uh, blaming uh, Lawrence for the riot outside a mosque and calling him a new fascist paid influence is ridiculous. Lawrence has some influence, but you give him too much credit here. <laughs> Lawrence did not cause it. And of course, the uh, innocent Br British girls losing their lives uh, and everything else. And then, imagine Nawaz said, keep panicking, we see you. And we are coming. That was a warning. Then Calvin said, believe them when they tell you. Then things escalated. Because he said, you and Fox, to Calvin, um, are both shields for globalist division. And pit, and pitting communities against each other. He basically called Calvin Robinson and Lawrence Fox globalists. It's a little bit weird. Uh, in your case, uh, you use... Uh, Fake religious beauty and disguise your dark desire to demonize an entire community and everything else. We see you and we will continue to do our duty reporting on your malicious work. Nothing can stop what is coming. Cope. Calvin then said, uh, Christian nationalist, globalist patsy, weird. Uh, saying we can't be both, basically. We need to remove Islam from Britain. They are not globalist policies. England is a Christian country, old chap. Always has been. I want to make sure it always will be. Who is this we you speak of? And then Lawrence Fox got involved, saying, Are the globalist patsies in the room with you now, Mr. Shadow? Because <laughs> they are invisible and imaginary. And then um, then he went after Tommy Robinson. Imagine the said, Because <clears throat> Tommy said, Be safe and stop the violence. We made a video. Don't do rights. Imagine if I said, like arsonists, they light the fire in a dry forest and blame climate change. You are not a patriot, Tommy. You are a traitor. Serving globalism. It calls everybody a globalist. <laughs> everybody is a globalist. Tommy then said, but Majid, I sat with you while you ate bacon. <laughs> you told me you were no longer a Muslim, but... If you said that publicly, you wouldn't be taken seriously and couldn't visit Pakistan anymore. You are a fraud. Uh, Quillam, which was the group they had, was one big fraud. Don't tell me about being a patriot. Your entire life is a lie. Who has made you say this? Your big Saudi investor? <laughs> then he responded, nice try. You have exposed yourself, traitor. Seek help. And then Tommy responded to this post saying, did we not sit and have breakfast? That all the Muslims in the group in Quillum were apostates, some were gay. You sold the British government and the country a lie that, they, that, that there was an Islamic solution. To respond to this, Majid said, basically didn't say anything. He just copied and pasted his last post saying, nice try, you have exposed yourself trade. He didn't actually reply. Is everybody going crazy now? 
I thought it's important for people to know because a lot of people um, they've got all these influencers. Everybody has a voice and everybody has a platform. Apparently these days, uh, they have big following um, and people keep calling each other names. I don't understand how calling Tommy Lawrence Calvin globalist <laughs> even slightly accurate or not. It's it's not of course. It's it's, it's weird calling nationalists uh, globalists, but this is what we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this was a. Uh, a little bit helpful at least. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.